This video is sponsored by Into the AM. We're back, it's Combat Patrol version three. Are you ready? No. Hell yeah, no. Let's go! <laughs> Combat Patrol <laughs> Challenge 3. You can hear the deflation already, as you'll have seen in the preview video. My long hatred of the Imperial Guard has come back to bite me and I have to paint them. Clearly um, a dust stand, brother. It won't after I'm finished with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after watching that video, actually, one, I'm surprised. Uh, we actually said in the video, uh, I wondered if we'd look the same. Um, we you, don't. You, well, yeah, you've changed your look, and I, I was determined that you would have you would have stayed the same. Your beard is shorter, your hair's changed as well. I'm testing out every beard you've length gone, and yeah. haircut. You've gone you've gone rugged. Yes. Um but yeah. Uh here we are, the round three. We've drawn all three teams. Um and so since what, yeah, what are you, hang on, we've said that I'm doing Imperial Guard, what are you painting? Yeah, I'm painting Stop ignoring them because you don't want to do them. I'm painting the smelliest boys in town, Typhus and the gang. Um Tea money. Um, I am very scared. Very scared. Um, there's a lot of models. I've primed them in two different colours. All the Pops Walkers are in Xandu Dust and all the Marines are in black currently. Um, I am going to totally wing this and pray for forgiveness from Papa Nurgle. Well, even yeah. if you do a terrible job, like in terms of slapping the paint about, it just kind of works with Death Guard because they look dirty. Yeah, that is the one plus side to mine as opposed to yours. Um, yeah, if I get any red on the bits that I don't want... I'll spoil it about doing red. Um, I'm not doing black. No, there is black. Oh, well, that makes sense. I've got all the tyres to do, the boots to do. Tyres? What has tyres? Oh, so, oh so, stupid oh, things. So two on each platform. Yeah, 100 mil bolt action. Yeah, 100 mil bolt action. God damn it. Um, but yeah, no, thank you so, so much for all of your support so far during this Combat Patrol series. It has been fun uh, to reflect on and obviously been super fun to, this uh, is to draw. The, this is the last one. For the time being. For the time being. If we do... Being do combat patrol for I'm gonna pick yeah what will you pick Grey Just, Knights you're gonna pick Grey Knights and you're gonna pick Grey Knights as well I'm gonna... <laughs> the Grey Knight on the Let's Grey Knight challenge which, I've, which I'm uh, down for yeah keen okay. yeah for sure we should uh, also say uh, thank you to Hobby Workshop for providing me with the sheer pain of Imperial Guard and you the sheer pain of Death Guard Death Guard the Guard the Guard challenge Changing of the guard? No, there's no pun there. Passing of the no, that's not. This the same is thing. just boring. Yeah, we're just waffling on. But yeah, it's very, very exciting indeed. Um, what to, as as far as our future challenges are concerned, we recorded the first three of our Hero Hammer uh, result videos during the week as well. That's that's gonna be. I'm I'm really up for that. Yeah, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's it's very very exciting times for us. Um, 2020, uh, 2024, sorry, is already off to a flying start. Um, but. Not this paint is guard, it's not. this is the the send off, the send off of uh, combat patrol, for the time being anyway. Are you gonna finish? Yes. No. Let's start. <laughs> okay, so you join us in the Death Guard corner. We have got thirty pox walkers, which are all uh, currently dry brushed with um, the Vallejo model color ivory, which is very very exciting. And then I've thinned down some um, AK deep shades. Um, so this is. One of my go-tos at the moment. I really, really love using this. Um, and as you can see, just by watering it down, it's not quite like Gilliman flesh, um, but it is like a bit thicker in consistency. Um, and then all of my uh, Death Guard uh, are currently blue. Oh, blue, not again. Yes, again. Um, so I've gone with a, a darker blue, kindly donated by the Duncan Rhodes uh, Painting Academy at Transatlantic Games, which is very, very cool. So thank you very much for, for those, uh, all the guys over at Transatlantic. Uh, so I'm using Abyss Blue. Um, this is such a, such a nice color. And I've been, as you can see by my, my lack of palette, um, it's really, really dark. Um, and the big man himself, T Money, T Dirty Money, is just going to be getting T Pain. T Pain. Okay, so you join me in the Imperial Guard corner of the room. Um, I'm currently, so I'm actually listening to Kieran for once. So I'm doing an all-over coat of Skeleton Horde, uh, thinned down with a bit of contrast medium. Um, so this is about four drops of Skeleton Horde, about five drops of contrast medium. Um, yeah, just as an all-over coat to pick out the undersuit. Try not to let it pull too much because it don't want it 
there's much of a contrast. I think it's a really nice staining of the the materials there. I think it's um... yeah, and because it's thinned down quite a bit, um, because Skeleton Horde is usually quite harsh of a contrast paint. I find it. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic colour, um, which is why I thinned it down. But because it's still quite thin, um, I think the red will go over it really nicely, um, and it shouldn't change the effect. I'm using. I'm going to use Bowl Red, which is very red. Very very red. So. You know, if I can mute that down ever so slightly, it's probably a good thing. I am knee deep in Baal Red, um, as you can kind of see from this one. As we mentioned earlier, uh, they look like firemen. So this is uh, Fireman Sam, for any of, uh, any of you people that know who that is. Um, so I've literally just been going over all of these armor panels, which on these guard models, there seems to be a few, um, which is unpleasant. Um, because I don't want to get any of this red anywhere near the fatigues underneath or the skin, because when I come to put in the next set of uh, like contrast paints over the top of those, they'll look really, really weird. It's lunchness time. It's the lunchtime update. We've been doing this for two hours now. Um, how are you, firemen, looking? <laughs> <laughs> fireman Sam and his cronies are well on their way. This is the fastest I've ever seen you paint anything. Yeah, I might actually finish the red today. Yeah, what a miracle that is. Um, so yeah, I've done a pass of bar red over the armor panels on some of them. The armor panels are just more like plastic covering, I think. Oh, I don't even know how Imperial Guard works. I, mean, I don't get it. Yeah. Slightly concerned of with the robot chicken walker is because I've gone with such a fire truck red, when I cover the sentinel in that, he is going to look like a fire truck. Yeah. In hindsight, would you have gone darker? Uh, no, because I'm, I'm probably going to go with a grime wash, whether that's an enamel or the AK one, I haven't decided, so it will all get muted down. Sure. How about in the Death Guard corner? How's that going? It's going. I, th I think I've got some like nice base colours down. So all of the pox walkers have had the wash obviously since the previous update. That's still drying, so it's taken quite a long, a lot longer than I wanted to. So I did start on the Plague Marines. So they've all had their blue dry brushes uh, sort of gone over before, and they've all had their silvers done as well, which is fine. Um, the majority of the work is still to come. The th stuff I'm worried about with the Plague Marines really is going to be the brass trim which is next. That's going to take up a, like, a nice chunk of my time. But everything after that, especially with the Plague Marines anyway, it's just going to be quite messy. So like a lot of just sort of like hodgepodge, blodge colours. Hodgepodge, <laughs> hodgepodge, 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 blodge. I did have a scary moment earlier where uh, I accidentally splodged some bar red over my shiny new Into the AM t-shirt. God damn it. Look at um, you. These, these nice new shirts we were kindly gifted and yeah. you ruined them. Ruined yeah. them already. No, I managed to get it off. It was a, it was only a, a splodge. Um, but maybe wearing the cream one was a bad idea. Maybe, maybe, a bad, maybe a bad idea. So the one thing I look for when it comes to designer t-shirts anyway is the variety of prints. Um, Into the AM aren't necessarily like a one trick pony when it does come to their designs. There's a huge variety of stuff. There's definitely something for everyone. And it's not just t-shirts either. They do hoodies and all sorts of accessories. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely worth checking the link down below. The one thing that we do like about these t-shirts is the fit. Yeah. When it says it fits, it actually fits. For not sure. like when you go to any other shop and you're like, this is not a medium, this is not a large. Well, I'm a double XL because I'm a slightly chunky guy, and the number one thing I struggle with is getting my shoulders in anything, and knowing that it actually fits like it's supposed to is very, very nice indeed. If graphic tees aren't your style, you can always pick their Into the AM plain tees, and I'm a real sucker for this. It's perfect for layering, um, so you wear it, dress it up, dress it down, um, and their 100% cotton tees are brilliant. So as you can see, I've got a black and a white one, um, and I definitely intend on getting some more in the future. But if you're not boring like Kieran and you're like me and you like a good print on your t-shirt, they've got some really good variety. As you can see, I've gone from a pirate ship into a spaceman and then into some planets because variety is the spice of life. Thank you to Into the End for sponsoring this video. Please check the pinned comment down below for 10% off. But yeah, no, it's so far so good. Uh, we're gonna go grab some luncheon and we will see you soon. Fire truck.
It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so we are at the half past three or quarter past three mark. So we're nearly halfway through. Um, are you feeling confident? Um, I'm in between. In between. Okay, How well about that's you? still a positive space. Um, I've nearly done all the metallics on the Death Guard, uh, the Plague Marines. Um, it's taken so, you so long. Yeah, it's taken a long time. And what's hilarious as well is I've ignored most of the trend that's on these minis. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm doing Typhus now, which is the last one. Um, we'll do a little B-roll in a second. I'm sure you'll see it on the overlay. Um, after I've done those, um, it's Gribbly Bits and the Black Cloth. That should be quite easy because they're... Uh, Although there's lots of it, there's they're little concentrated bits, it'll be like blob, 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 and then it'll be fine. Not quite as uh, irritating, I suppose, as the metallic highlights, but that's that. And then I've got to try and do pox walkers, and I think <laughs> I'm gonna have to do contrast paint, like dark contrast paint. I think you're gonna need it. Yeah. Um, I'm need it. I'm, I'm going full contrast paint, because I think that's my only way to win this challenge mm. is contrast um as i said at the start a minute ago I, I do have the giant red fire truck it looks hilarious i'm now really regretting the red scheme you know what you could do uh is do the mechanic or the gray the dark gray contrast was it basilicanum basilicanum gray yeah. so if you did basilicanum gray on all the weapons and then did a dry brush of lead belch or something i was going to do um black legion over all the weapons and then dry brush silver what paint Black. Oh, that makes sense. There it is. Yeah. It's not. It's not a challenge if I don't paint black. Back in business, baby. Yeah. You don't I, think I'd never paint I, black again? I, I think grey is a better option. Well, I might listen to you because I listened to you for most of the day, and it's worked so far. Um, shocking. <laughs> Truly shocking. I, to be fair, I've I haven't listened to you totally. I haven't batched the units together. I've been doing it all in one go. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm, st I'm still I'm still a bit of a maverick. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's Maverick, but yeah, I think doing something... More like Goose after gets hit by the thing. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sad. Imperial Guard Corner. As I mentioned in the update you've seen a little while back, uh, we are knee-deep in boots, leathers, blacks, basically all of the dark colours. Um, so all I'm using for this... I've gone full contrast paint for this, which seems to be working well for me. I've gone full in on uh, Gagrax Sewer. So that's the uh, that's the colour I'm using for all of the leather. Uh, I did test a number of them briefly, um, trying to find the right tone. I initially went with black boots, but it did look like proper firemen, like they're in like wellies or like some rubber shoes. It was quite funny. We'll check in on the Night Lords next, see what's going on there. So as we can see, in the Death Guard slash Night Lord corner. Um, I haven't touched the uh, touched, touched the Pox Walkers at all. They're still gonna be existing, they're fine. Um, the Night Lords are actually uh, very, very interesting indeed. I really like Death Guards in this color, but I think it's just because I like Night Lords. Um, so I've done some of like the fleshy bits. The bone bits are done as well. All of the seven Plague Marines are sort of done now. Um, they just need some uh like weathering bits and to get those up to up to scratch which is cool i've got these two characters remaining uh, so typhus and the peach fire still need their uh, bone coloring sorting and then um the rest should be fairly simple um i'm not i don't know how much time to put into these um but i'm i am enjoying it i'm enjoying it a lot and um, these look very very cool with their green and their pink wash um, I think I'm just going to tackle the clothes and uh, and bits with the contrast paints. I think that's going to really help me a lot. Five hours remaining. It's currently 5 p.m. Um, on Saturday. How are you feeling? Not that the day's relevant, but He's still blurring as <laughs> one. Uh, How are your firemen doing? Look at him with, with <laughs> teeny weeny black guns. Um, as you'll see from the B-roll we're going over now, some of them have shoes on. Um, Shoes on, boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. The black on some of the casings is done. Um, you're batching it pretty well, I've got to say. Like, considering you've got five hours to go, like, you are looking very, very strong. I am, um, if you ignore the Sentinel and the Gunners, I am. Yeah. That's the what Sentinel's, the well, sen no, Sentinel's going to be a problem. No, it won't be. Because if you do, like I said, Basilicum Grey and then Dry Brush with Silver, 
You will be so, so made up with that. Just listen to me. What did you say at the beginning of the challenge? I was going to listen to you. Yeah, then just, I, I just bloody listen to me. Hang on, right, hang on, hang on. No, 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 I'll fight you. I haven't said I'm not going to listen to you. Yeah, um, just probably won't. Sometimes I shouldn't listen to me because I've ended, I think the reason earlier I said, if you recall, this is the most fun I've had so far, and now we know why. Because you're painting Night Lords. I'm just painting Night Lords. <laughs> <laughs> the scheme, I was like, oh yeah, that'll look really, really cool. Um, I'm oh, just, Night Lords! I'm just painting Death Guard Night Lords, which I think is quite cool as a concept anyway. Um, whether I end up doing lightning bolts at the end, you know, for... Do you know what's really, really funny though? This has morphed into the Night Lords and Advent Challenge because I've realised six hours, whatever hours we are in, that yeah. I'm using the tone of red that you would use for Advent. There it is. And black. Mm. So, Love that. this is the Admech Night Lords challenge now. I mean, that's probably why I'm having such a good time. I'll be honest, um, when I was doing this initially and I looked at the colour scheme for it, I was like, this looks really, really cool. And it's because it reminds me of a really cool Legion. The Poxwalkers I haven't even touched yet. Um, I'm doing the last little bits for the, the Night Lords, um, <laughs> which, is, which is cool. Um, they'll then start the uh, weathering process, which is lush. And then, yeah, oh, I've got hair on my face. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so there's been some progress in the guard corner. Uh, I got my head down a little bit and got some paint on miniatures. Uh, so as you can kind of see from here, we've got the greys down, blacks down, there's some flesh in there. They're starting to come together. I'm still not totally happy with the paint job that I've done, but given the time I've done it in... Um, also the progress. Yeah, I mean, this is the nearest I've come to finishing. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. <laughs> um, yeah, for you, this is quite remarkable. I mean, this is the this is the joys of contrast paint that, you know, they do come up clutch when you're speed painting. Um, but all I'm doing at the minute is blocking in the greys. Um, so I'm just using the silicone grey, and then I will take care Kieran's suggestion if I get round to it, which is to do a dry brush of uh, like lead belcher or something, just to actually give it that metallic tone. Okay, so in the Night Lord's corner, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Um, as you can see, all of the uh, Death Guard Plague Marines are done. They're looking pretty sweet, actually. And what I've managed to do is do a grime wash and a black wash. Um, so these deep shades are phenomenal. If you haven't picked these up already, they are from AK. I really, really, really recommend them. They are Fabulous. Um, I've also done Black Legion on the bases because what I want to do for the bases when I get round to them as soon as they are dry um, is water down some Nurgle rot um, and do it all over there so they've got like this green swampy glow. Um, I think that will look absolutely lush. And what's hilarious is I've been using that scrag brown that Kieran's been doing. Look at all these coats! Um, so yeah, the, the green boys, um, the boys in green, are, are looking very, very cool indeed. So just as an example, Look how handsome he is, what a handsome boy! Um, yeah, so they've got their brown pants, which is cool. I'm also going to steal the Basilicon Grey idea from myself, question um, mark, for the metallics. Um, but yeah, so I've only got 10 uh, Pots Walkers left, so I'm actually feeling pretty, pretty confident, which is lush. Um, but yeah, so whether we end up putting lightning bolts on these at the end, just for memes, um, we will have to wait and see, but either way, I'm having a very, very good time, um, and Imperial Guard can suck it. Okay, so it is time for another update. How long time, how long time, how much time have we got left? Just over two hours, and when I say just over, I mean two hours and three minutes, which is very, very cool indeed. Um, all of the Poxwalkers have got their, uh, what was that brown called again? Gag rack sewer. Get the sewer contrast paint. Yeah, it's that. Uh, so all of the brown is done. I've done a mix of basilicon and grey and Black Legion on all of their metallic bits as well. So that's 30 all done and dusted. So I'm going to wait. And, oh, my voice went then. It's like a 14 year old boy. Um, and then I have just gone again with the Plague Marines. So I've watered down some of the Nurgle's Rot and I'm putting that on now. So that will be there to dry, which is very, very cool. Um, and then it'll be the last little bit, so things like glowies and stuff if I get to it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do after this bout of Nurgle's Rot. So as you can see, it's very, very easy. So I've just watered it down quite considerably. And I'm just going to 
messily put it on there without a care in the care in the world. And if I get it everywhere, it doesn't matter because you know what? I'm gonna win. I didn't know it was competition. It's always a competition. Okay, so in the bolt action corner, we are within striking distance of actually finishing a combat patrol, which is Hooray! monumentally exciting. Um, and the hilarity of doing it on what I thought was going to be the hardest one. So we've got all the Cadians are grimed. They need um, just some thinning out. Um, but currently I'm trying to get these fire engine shooters uh, at the same level so then I can streak and grime those and take the streak and grime off the other ones and then base them. Is that achievable? Yeah! I don't know because if you look at these there is a lot going on. Look at the amount of yeah, there is a bits. Lot. Um, so these I think if I'm going to fail on anything, it's going to be these two. Um, That's so exciting though. So exciting for me to fail and this will be the closest I've ever gotten. No, it's well, good. I'm, You'll I'm do you, it. Aren't you a cruel human being? Yes. Um, but what is funny, and I didn't really want to mention it, but I'm going to anyway because, you know, the only... Or what's the, the difference, I suppose, in this challenge in comparison to the others? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Say it! <laughs> I listened to you! <laughs> <laughs> One hour remaining. That is as much time as is left. Which is a complicated way of saying one hour left. I am exhausted. Yeah. Truly knackered. Tuck it out. Um, I've fully gone for it. You have. Um, the last one. Which makes it sound like I never tried on the other ones, but... But I think it's different, isn't it? Like, we've said before that it's slightly different stakes. I'm, now I've stopped and come up for air, mm. I'm very much like... Wow. Done. Oh, right. Done in. <laughs> oh, right, I see. <laughs> yeah, just... So, for all intents and purposes, uh, I've just stripped back the grime on the Cadians and the chicken. Uh, there'll be some b-roll over the top of this. Um, hang on, I've also just noticed that I haven't taken any off. Oh, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've just taken the grime off um, the Cadians. Um, I've just grimed the banner flagman and the two heavy gunner emplacements. Um, and pending that drying, I'll be able to do basing. So for the first time ever in a challenge, I have got my basing material Ow. ready to go. It was so far embedded in the drawer that it's yeah. just like, nah, there's no way he's doing this. On the last one as well. It's like the last one. On the hard. hardest one. Yeah. I've cracked, I've cracked how to do combat patrol though. You, pick, you do an army that you don't care about. Yeah, basically. How's it going for Night Lords? That's my secret, Kieran. I don't care about any army. <laughs> Um, yeah, the 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 Night Lords are fantastic, actually. They look I, like Death Guard again now, to be fair. They do. I've gone. I've done all the Rast on the Plague Marines. I've done the basing on all of them, which is cracking. Um, I'm starting to do the glowy bits now, so I've got some green lenses for the Plague Marines and some uh, red OSL. Oh, it's sort of like a pinky OSL. Yeah, your red uh, ink intensity is slightly different to mine. Um, crimson, not red. Yeah, that's why. Uh, so I've got like a uh, the. OSL for the plasma, pistol and the gunner, like that's been done as well. Doing typhus as well. Might have a go with a sponge and a bit of um, metallic afterwards, but to be honest, I'm gonna rust up the pox walkers in a second so that they sort of fit with the, with the rest of the army. But yeah, yeah honestly, I'm gassed. I, to be honest, uh, I could back out now and say that they're done, and I think I'd probably get away with it, but um, I do wanna do like another hour of uh, last little bits, but yeah, uh, an hour of trying. Yeah, yeah, basically, twelve hours. I. It's been twelve hours. It's been twelve long and grueling hours. Um, there has been a defeat. I did a combat patrol. <laughs> yes. <Get in. laughs> we have finally. It's taken us three attempts, but we've so both we... done it. 
we both both of us. It took yeah, three attempts to get that last half hour was so stressful. <laughs> so just to clarify, we finished with two minutes to spare. It two took, minutes. It took. So how how long did I have left? And I was hair drying, streaking grime. I think I had you like had fifteen minutes left. I was still uh, hair drying, and then it was like. Spotify was like, no, I got you. Yeah, I'm going to give you the, the, the craziest playlist known to man. And then it yeah. did, and it was like So for full reference, and anybody that knows this knows, it gave me the uh, World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King cinematic intro music, which is straight fire. Yeah, I didn't get that, but you were... I was like, right, let's go, I'm in. <laughs> and then, with okay. five minutes left, it followed that up with Kingslayer by Bring Me the Horizon. We were like, yeah. cool, I'll do another couple of yeah, now. Yeah, you know, we could do it, whatever you want. Yeah, Kingslayer is, yeah, slaps. So, went full weeb. So, this is it. Look at us. Two combat patrols done in 12 hours. Full, full disclosure, my paint job is rubbish. Like, I'm not... Ha I, like, if this was my army, I'd be a bit like, all right, come on. But... You painted a whole combat patrol in 12 <laughs> I hours. I painted what I'm going to probably deem as the hardest combat patrol of them all. I think the, top, the hard, hardest three are Imperial Guard and Death Guard. What was the other one? You said top three. Uh, probably orcs. I would call, call these. Oh no, Gene Steeler cults or orcs. I think it would be the other third one. Yeah, maybe. They're they're the worst ones. Or maybe no, actually, world eaters. I'd like to paint that because I like world eaters. Oh yeah, that is rough actually. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do that. In yeah, I think hours. I think bottom three is Ashra yeah. Minotaurum, Death Guard, and world eaters. I don't know what order they're going, but yeah, yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy. I think um, there's a lot to reflect on, but ultimately, Kieran finishing a painting challenge on his least favorite army. Is uh, there's a lot to unpack. There's something poetic about it. Yeah, there really is. Yeah, just yeah, when so you thought they could let you down one last time. Yeah, it's all contrast paint, baby. Yeah, look at um, it. And do you know what? Do you know what's scary is that I I didn't I rushed it. I was existing twelve hours. I went full easy mode. Yeah. So even going full contrast paint, we ended with two minutes left. Mm. Yeah. So imagine if I'd have gone like, no, I'm gonna do like a dry brush highlight that. It's it's so uh, ridiculous. At one o'clock, when, when I was when I was debating, going, oh, put a little bit of flare this, here. That would have been the end. Of, that's scary to think that would have been the end of the whole challenge. Every time you you say to me, let me do my hobby, or you, I'm not <laughs> listening to your advice or something, I'm always like, all right, fine. You've lost the challenge, right? Yeah, there. You, you you are relinquishing the the challenge end because there's there's so many corners that you've got to cut when you're doing these sorts of. I mean, I don't think that anyone else is doing this for fun. I think it's just us, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no one is. you have to cut so many corners. Like for example, Death Guard, like I think I'm really happy with how they came out, but there is so much of their armor trim that I totally ignored. Even like the plasma glowies and stuff, I just half asked. It was really, so like the crystallizing moment for your blue scheme. So for most of the day, it's looked like ultramarine slash night lords. <laughs> And then even when you'd finished, like you'd finished, it was on debasing. I was like, "Here and there, just night lords. <laughs> what are you playing at?" And then yeah. you got the Nurgles right out, and then they do now yeah, resemble that, a bit. That's it. So it made them rusty, gave them the Nurgle, yeah. Nurgles rock bases as I'd already intended, and yeah, yeah, very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice. But yeah, I think if if this if I was oh, eyes. if I was gonna hit my head and want to do an, a. Uh, an Imperial Guard army, I think what I would do with these is get some sponges out, add some chipping, and I'd make them traitor guard. I'd have chaos symbols on them, mm -hmm. I'd cut them up a bit more. Full disclosure, just why I've not gone with transfers. A, because I would have had to do them prior to this, and that doesn't sound fun. No. Um, and B, because if I ever do want to do a, a, a traitor guard army, a, a guard army, it will be a traitor guard. It will be chaos symbols on the shoulders, not insignias and yeah. other things. I mean, if I ever did, I'd have to kind of scratch the banner up a bit, but easily sorted. i just clip the banner off and replace it with a Chaos Standard Bearer. Yeah, I think, because they're... The only way I was going to get this done was to go full grim dark. It was going to be bright colours to start off with, a really heavy streaking grime coat to cover up yeah. all of the corners that were cut. Dull it right down. Um, take off minimal... Streaking, I took off a lot less than I personally normally would, mm. um, just to try and blend a lot more together. I mean, it's a horde army at the end of the day, so you know, yeah. how quick does the squad of Cadians die? I don't need to be doing anything uh, on them. I'm so tired. I'm so um, tired. But yeah, it's been 
one hell of a challenge. It's been one hell of a journey, um, considering where we were as a channel when we first did our initial combat patrol, and now we've finished our third. Six, it's taken six months to get to the end of the combat patrol journey it's, we started. It's, it's been one hell of a ride, that's for sure. We've ended up with five new armies. Lol. <laughs> Four of them we probably didn't want. <laughs> yeah, I'll d yeah, ditto that, Still yeah, for sure. Wishing that I got grey knights. <laughs> yeah, here we are. See, if we do do CPC4, and I, I think we will, um, we will choose. And I'm telling you now, it will just be the Grey Knight Challenge, because that's the only one that we're both like, yeah, I'd paint that and have fun. Yeah. Thank um, you to all of the patrons here. Thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring it. Um, I've got a bit of streaking grime over my <laughs> lovely new t-shirt, but it'll come out of the wash. Yeah, mine is clean, um, um, but check out like helps. <laughs> The affiliate links in the description and check out the pinned comment for a 10% discount over at Into the AM so you can get a nice astronaut t-shirt that doesn't have a blob of streaking grime on it. Or all of the t-shirts that we danced in, well I danced in earlier. So yeah, what a great time, what a great time. But yeah, yeah. thanks so much for joining and we'll see you for Hero Hammer. Hero Hammer's coming sooner than we would we initially so expected. Full, full disclosure, at the time of recording this, the net Hero Hammer is in two weeks. We're going straight into another challenge very, very quickly. So, see you later. Bye.